feel something building up inside me. I must prepare, I must get ready. Serving you, Yahweh, keeps me strong and steady for you. Lord, I'll go for green living. Hey, Dad. Me and Ann are out uh, gleaning from nature and time to get these whatever they are Tom. <laughs> blueberries we are uh we are trying to get the blueberries huh. yes the blueberries and what we're going to do is uh i'm going to start this as a as a series uh you know things are just being aware of what's around you it's one thing is very important as, as far as homesteading that you be aware this is free food that's out there in the woods and uh and it's free for the taking. So we're going to pick some of these and we're going to let y'all watch us picking these and we'll make a, a, some sauce to put in pies and make some blueberry jelly. I bet it will be yummy. Yes, and I bet it'll be yummy. So we'll get back to You know, Anna have a saying that we're working with. What is it, Anna? Pick two, eat one. <laughs> it's a good motto to live by. All right. Uh, I know you're looking at my dirty feet, but I've been working all day. <clears throat> now it's relaxing time. But I wanted to show you this my mosquito repellent that uh, I made. Uh, if you can see them down there, they are just swarming me. But not landed on me. Uh, we, me and Anna both put the mosquito repellent, our handmade mosquito repellent, and I'll put a link right over there to it, and I'll show you. And it's, uh, it really works. They're not landing. They just won't land. And you think, hey, I've got them about all. And then you raise up the bush, and you're like, whoa! <laughs> I might be wondering why. I'm gleaning these, these little tiny berries, spending an hour every day. I usually spend about an hour a day when it's these start ripening up, and this is what I got so far. It's almost a full jar there, and I'll, I'll pick a jar a day until, and usually when these are done, the blackberries are done, and I'll pick about 20 gallons of those. This The reason why is because we are a working homestead, and... I can make syrup out of that and feed my family literally with just that pint of syrup there for you know with a little bit of flour pancake mix you know I can feed them you know many many breakfasts I can't even tell you how many probably two dozen breakfasts using the, the blueberry syrup or I can make a, a splurge and have an all-out you know blueberry cobbler or something like that, you know, which my family deserves that too. But I'm gonna finish picking. I right. like to see what I'm doing. We have our pint full for today. I'm gonna go show you all a couple other things that we are collecting right now for uh, gleaning for the homestead. To, you know, for the just in case, you know, for bee stings, that kind of thing. You know, food. Uh, being aware of your surroundings, you know, so that you might be able to. You see, there's still millions of these on there. I'm gonna be here for a good two or three weeks <laughs> picking these. There's tons of green ones everywhere, all along there. But these are the sweetest blueberries you've ever tasted. I think they're called. They're a variety of the dewberry. And they're they're rather small. As you can see, but they are good. Right. The second thing we we've been collecting is uh, thistle seed. Uh, they are great liver detox, uh, great detox for for everybody to help clean out your liver. It's uh, been known to reverse but, psoriasis look, of the liver. You see that seed? Yep, there's the seed right there. We put them in baggies and. Just take the baggie once it's all closed up, 
and just break the seeds right off to kind of crunch it around and then the, the, the fuzzy part float away. We have really been working on this and I'll show you the rest of it in just All right, This is what we collected today. Uh, we have several more bags that we have to separate in jars. You can see all the seeds in there. So separate. These are some that we've already got separated here. This is the uh, thistle seeds. And it's just free medicine. Uh, just, you know, it's manna from heaven. That's what this, the blueberries were, is manna provided by the Father for us. So. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And during this segment, I have, throughout the year, I'll have uh, several more gleaning videos of uh, the different herbs and medicinal things you can glean. So, Ane Ove Ocha. Means I love you. Live in the way you meant for me to live Is what I strive to do every day As I live off the land Lead me at your pace for you, Lord, I'll go for green living. Help me to feed all the hungry. Use me, Lord, to ease their misery. From all this worldly pain and captivity, for you, Lord, I'll go for green living. I feel something building up inside me <laughs> I must prepare, I must get ready Serving you, Yahweh, keeps me strong and steady For you, Lord, I'll go for you